I'll take a red pill, but it's getting harder and harder to take those red pills. But yeah, I'll take it. The Matrix Resurrections makes quite a direct reference to the fan theory that the Matrix is a trans metaphor. I wondered, did, did you guys have time to sit with that theory this time around and reflect on it? And what does it mean to you? Yeah, uh, I guess Lily Wachowski was talking about that. And um, yeah, I'm, for me, I think anything that's positive and good and supportive and helps with understanding and community and bringing people together is awesome. And how does it feel to know that the world's trans community and non-binary communities are waiting for this movie with bated breath? Well, that's exciting. <laughs> Hopefully they'll enjoy the film. So I hope this question is original, but I fear it's not. Uh, would, would you guys take the blue pill or the red pill? I have never heard that question. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> yeah. Red pill over here. I'll take a red pill, but it's getting harder and harder to take those red pills. But yeah, I'll take it. Could you talk me through um, Lana's directorial process a little bit? Um, is she very collaborative? Is she very strict? Uh, I would say both. Yeah. Um, speak about the, the script, answer any questions that you may have. Um, uh, has a vision. Um, open to collaboration, but with that vision, uh, directing, um, and uh, brings a lot of passion and support. What else we got? Yeah, and her her creative vision is so strong that you know when you're with her, you you really want to serve that vision. And mm -hmm. the you know you ask these questions, and she has she has all of the answers to those questions. And so the conversations are quite interesting. Um, it definitely feels collaborative. And in the end, for me anyway, it's about serving her vision for sure. And what was it like working with one director this time around rather than two? What was the biggest difference? I mean, I definitely felt the, the missing of Lily um, and her beautiful heart. Um, and, and at the same time, it was, you know, with, with Lana, it was just, there we were, and it felt great. So there's a shift, there's a change, but that was 20 years ago as well. So it's not as fresh as an experience. And this experience felt very new. And it included Lana, you know, behind the camera in a different way. She, um, in the first matrixes would always be behind, like behind the monitor. And this time she was right in the middle of the scenes, right behind the camera, moving the camera around. Um, throwing us ideas during the scenes, these super long takes. So it definitely felt like a different film, like we were making a different film. Her style of shooting is very different than it was 20 years ago, which was super exciting to be a part of that. You know, it, it has a, it has a, it feels so alive while you're doing it in, in that, in that beautiful make-believe world between action and cut. Often in, in filmmaking, it's quite short. And then you have to kind of bring yourself back into it. Whereas when she opened this creative bubble, we would have all this space and time to really just be in it, which is, which is um, creatively feels really good.